Hey, what's up, YouTube? Under Game is here, back with some more Borderlands. Sorry for the abrupt ending in the last part. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Uh, so part three. Um, so with these bandits, uh, you got to be really careful and uh, not just rush out, because uh, typically you will get owned. So I'm just taking out the last of these bandits. I think I need to take out one more. And there we go. There's still some more left, so I'm just going to take out the rest of them. But Oh, dropped a pistol. It's probably a piece of junk, but whatever. And as you can see, the shield helps out. It's basically just like a regenerating life. So... It's an extremely good thing to have, and that is something for later on. And here we have two nice little weapons. Sniper and a pistol. I'm actually going to use both of those later on. But for now, I'll be sticking with the pistol. And I'm just kind of looting everything, ignoring bandits. But and I think... There might be something around here. Not sure. Find out. Yeah, I don't think so. Look at that. Alright, so let's see. What do we have here? They dropped a cheap repeater. I'll just sell these. And let's try out this repeater we got. Alright. So fast fire rate. High damage and a melee. Um, that's one really good thing to look out for is the melee on the pistol, like this one. See, it will say I think like 100% melee damage or something like that. It's a really good thing to have. Um, so yeah, let's go back to the town and turn in our uh, our thingamadoo. So like I said in the first part, um, I will be kind of covering side missions. Um, some of them I will, some I won't, so. We'll see. And let's chat with this guy. And level up. And now we gotta go to TK Baja. Just see if there's anything new in the shop. Um, I am going to, oh yeah, I can use the sniper now, which is good. Even though it's, uh, Jacob's, or Jacob's, um, which is usually really slow fire rate, but high damage. It'll be alright. Um, so we're going to sell the cheap repeater and sell the RF repeater because now we have the swatter and this one which is good. This one does 13 damage so it's pretty good. Alright so let's head down to uh, TK Baja Met, or not TK let's go down to uh, TK Baja and I'm going to try out the sniper I don't have much ammo for it um, so it has a scope or that kind of scope I don't know what these are called I don't know the names of the scopes, but, um, so, yeah, let's go. Uh, I think this is, like, 92 damage, which is pretty good, so I'll save it for extra far ranges and stuff, so I'll save the ammo for it, and actually, come to think of it, I'll just use the, uh, the rusty machine gun and save that for, um, situations that I need, so. Alright, so right over here is this TK guy, and get a little cutscene. I yet again apologize for the uh, audio, how you can't hear it, but whatever. Alright, so we met him, and you can turn this into right here, and he's going to ask you to uh, retrieve some stolen food for him. So you can grab that money, and there is a loot chest back here, um, uh, currently you cannot get it, you'll be able to get it later on. Um, it's, it's somewhere down here, or around here, actually, I'm not really sh exactly sure. Actually, no, I think it's in the house, my bad. Um, either way, you can't get it right now, so, put it that way. And down here, there's an ammo and money chest, so you can grab this stuff, and you will get yourself some sniper, rifle, ammo, and basically a nice assortment of ammo. Alright, and I think this is kind of near the place I was telling you about with the adult skags and stuff with these things, um, so I do warn you to be very careful around those things. Oh no, these are just pups. 
This pistol is pretty nice. Uh, let's see how the melee does. Yeah, the melee one hits. So I can just melee everything. Alright, let's go. There's like gasoline. I don't know what that is. Where am I going? Over here. Alright. I'm going to make sure I watch the time this time so I don't run over like last time and have an abrupt ending. I'll actually like finish it off. I'll try to make each part roughly like mm, 10 to 15 minutes about. I'll make it around that. So, Except for the second part, guys part as you saw was kind of short so we're just running I'm not really sure where I'm going um, going down yeah I just made a big circle and okay those things didn't respond yet that's good people were attacking me I'm just gonna kind of run away I don't really feel like fighting much right now but um we'll see how it goes so we are going this way. Yep, right over here. And here is the first piece of stolen food, and there is a lot of skag spawns. Um, so I do do warn you to use um, some good weapons and be kind of cautious. Even though these are only like pup skags, I'm just just warning you. You know, letting you know. Uh, I'm just gonna melee a lot of these things. Like I said, the melee on the uh, pistols, on any pistol, is really helpful. The first time I saw it, actually, it was on a, a revolver, and I thought it was, it was some exclusive thing to, like, you know, one or two... No, 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 my bad. It was on the, uh, the a weapon you're going to get very soon, actually. I'm not going to uh, reveal it, or what it does, because, let me tell you, it's a pretty good weapon for, excuse me, this part of the game. Um, so, and the stolen food is right around each other, so it's really not that hard, um to grab the waypoints will lead you um, there basically so uh, there's one right here and the other one is right down there and there's some skags that I'm just gonna jump over and kind of run around in a circle and uh, here we go just take care of these guys and this pistol's accuracy is not very good I think it's at 75 which is not that great but it's pretty good um, it's alright I guess oh that is a skag whelp um, things really aren't that challenging right now. The really only problem with skags, um, and the only time you ever have difficulty with them is when they gang up on you, especially later on when you get the ones that, you know, shoot things and do all stuff like that. Um, it's really the only time to get kind of difficult. Or, of course, if you're fighting an elder skag at level, like, 2. That's also a problem. Problem. Alright, so we're running back to uh, TK. It was right over here. To give him his stolen food, and right now I think we're getting the um, mission that leads us to our first boss fight, which is uh, Nine Toes, who is not that challenging of a boss. Um, I mean, yeah, he's really not that hard. And oh no, you have to get grenades first. Um, grenades are really helpful. When I first saw him, I was like, why am I have? To, why do I have to waste my money on this? You know, it's not worth my time. Um, but let me tell you, they are really good, and also the gun shop opens up now, so now we have a gun shop to go to and, um, purchase some new weapons, so hopefully they have some good stuff, I'm not really sure, we'll see, I think I have like a thousand bucks, so I might be able to get a halfway decent weapon. Um, and I made the mistake of doing this on my first playthrough when I didn't really know much, um... To, I just like stocked up on ammo and stuff figuring alright that's gonna be good I just get a ton of ammo for this and I'll be fine um not true at all make sure you definitely wanna you know get a weapon first so let's open this up and here is the gun shop or the first gun shop you'll visit and there's the ammo chest right there so make sure you visit that before you ever visit one of these stores here's the gun shop here's the shop that sells ammo and grenades and up certain upgrades um, so you might as well just buy the grenade, it gives you three, so those are always good to have, and um, you, the controls are really similar to like COD and stuff, so, alright, let's see, I'm looking for, I kind of want a shotgun, a fast shotgun, um, so here's a pretty good sniper, I can't afford it or anything, but it's not a bad sniper, um, I'm not looking for, I don't want a repeater, SMGs I don't really want, um, I think I'm going to go with either one of these shotguns, I'm not sure. Um, this one does 6 times 11. This one does 6 times 11. Um, wait, why is... Why am I getting... a shop icon continuously on my screen? There we go. Okay, 6 times 11 with 26... 
0.9. I think these are the same thing. No, they must be different. Why are these like the exact same? This is a faster reload. I don't really see the difference, so I might as well buy the cheaper one with the faster reload. Why not? So now we have a nice little shotgun, and I need to buy some ammo, actually. Uh, because shotgun ammo... Yeah. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Alright, so we have full shotgun ammo. Guess I'll buy a little combat rifle ammo. Um, we're near full, so I don't need much more. Oh, wait, let me see if there's any... Is that a good grenade mod? Don't waste your money. I'm telling you guys um, right now, trust me, you will thank me. Do not waste your money buying grenade mods. You will find tons of them. And it's really a waste because they sell them insanely overpriced. Um, and I mean like insanely. You know, like, you'll found, find like a really common grenade mod, like a Bouncing Betty. And they'll sell it back to you guys for like three, 4000 which is a complete waste of money. So the shotgun's pretty good. Nice fast reload. Not a bad fire rate, so I'm pretty happy with this um, for now. Hopefully I'll get something good soon. Um, and it's um, after you play through this game once, you get so used to having all the extra stuff like health regeneration and ammo regeneration. So you don't, you're not used to like having like you know not full health at all times. All right, so now is the mission for our first boss, Nine Toes, and we're also going to a gun stash. Um, now the gun stash gives you a few guns, and it's I think I think this is the only gun stash in the entire game, which is kind of weird. Um, I don't really know why they only put one, and why they wouldn't just give you a loot chest, um, when it's the same thing, really. Uh, so, we're going actually into our first new area, which you'll find out in a second I, where we're going. It's a pretty good shotgun. It's pretty accurate and pretty powerful, so. Um, also, one tip for you guys, don't waste your ammo. Um, let's say you shoot something, and it's down to that low health, I just wasted my ammo, I'm saying, but... Um, oh, the phone is ringing. That is wonderful. Hopefully it is, of course, stupid telemarketer. So I apologize if you hear that. Um, that's the one problem with doing live commentary. You have these problems, and I can't just go back and replay the game or anything because, you know, so there's always little problems in live commentary. So I do apologize for any, you know, background noise or anything. Um, so first you're going to come over here, actually, and we have to destroy the barricade. Get a nice little explosion. Shut up, phone. Actually, I don't think it was a telemarketer. I think it was just some person calling or the town calling. I don't even know. Whatever. Because my state is actually supposed to be getting... Or a lot of the East Coast is supposed to be getting hit with a Hurricane Irene. So I think they're just warning us and stuff. So, Alright, we're going to Skag Gully. Uh, Skag Gully is basically full of skags. And um, you will meet some fairly difficult ones um fairly soon so i warn you and here is another uh health and weapon shop and here is where you can buy your first um SDU upgrades now this basically um actually no i don't storage deck upgrades basically and this um will give you more capacity um like more ammo you can hold not like in magazines just like as extra clips so like instead of having 10 extra clips you'll have like 15 I'm just making up random numbers and everything I'm just saying um so that's um a pretty helpful thing to have and I'm actually going to sell back that pistol I got because now that I have two nice pistols I and a sniper I don't really need a longer range pistol and let's see if there's any good shields here um I think I'm just gonna wait to buy a shield um because these are all kind of expensive and yeah, I kind of want to get like one that's around 118. Um, so make sure you have a decent amount of health kits. Um, I would say maybe four is good. I'm just gonna get, you know, I think I have five. Actually, yeah, I have five, but that's fine. And make sure you don't really stock up on ammo yet, because there's an ammo chest right here. Sorry if you already stocked up on ammo. Um, I basically have full, so I'm good to go. And we're pretty close to the uh, gun stash, and we're gonna hit a huge patch of skags uh, right now. I think this is the one. 